folks, my name is Jürgen, aka Nerd and Proud of It, and Destiny has brought you to my channel today to have a look at Skytear Horde by Skytear Games. Um, you know, folks, I like to show you stuff I'm having a lot of fun with. And this little box is very, very cool. It doesn't only look cool, it also contains a cool game, which is very fun to play. And what I really like about these kind of games, which come right out of the box ready to play, is that they often have a very certain look and feel to it, which in this case appeals to me a lot. But everything fits back in the box and you can just have fun with it. You don't have to build uh, decks, you can just uh, play right away. And I think that sometimes as a distraction from uh, all the other trading card games I play is very nice. Everything fits in here and I backed this on Kickstarter, I think about, yeah, it arrived around Christmas. So I backed it about uh, three quarters of a year before. So beginning of 2022, it arrived around Christmas 2022. And yeah, I still got the, the paper tokens uh, not punched out yet because I have plastic tokens I use here. Uh, comes with a rule book and a couple of cards. I will show you exactly uh, what those are. It is, to start off with that, maybe interesting uh, co-op game. You can play it solo, you can play it co-op. I, I prefer to play it co-op. Uh, I think it's, it's fun if you play it with the two of you against the game. Or you can play it three players and then versus each other. Um, yeah, you know, I like to have a look at these kind of things. And I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but in general, for me, I like to share what I have fun with and uh, the games I really enjoy. And this was, this definitely was a game I um, thought uh, was surprising me positively. A hundred bucks, you get everything you see here, all the decks, all the cards, red deck, blue deck, this is the red deck, um, they call it Alliance. So you got uh, a 140 card deck for the for the red alliance and then one for the blue and one for the green alliance, that's 120 cards. You get the playmat you see here on the bottom as well, you get the, um, the box, magnetic box, you get, you even got, a, got an art book and you actually get the sleeves as well. So yeah, everything you need for the price of one booster box is uh, pretty uh, pretty cool, I think. Um, I will roughly explain how it works. I won't go into too much detail, but I wanted to show this to you and show this game some love. Yeah, it's it's. We talked about artwork recently a lot. It has a very unique style. I kind of like it. I think uh, especially for a game like this, it, the artwork is very versatile. And uh, it has, it just has a cool look and feel to it. Um, it's uh, definitely appealing to me. Very colorful, looks very fun, uh, very distinguishable from other stuff. So I, I kind of like that. It's not that I say this is the best art uh, <laughs> I have ever seen, but it's definitely good and very nice and appealing to me at least. Um, yes, I wanted to show this a little off uh, while looking at the third uh, alliance deck here as well, the green one. They advise you to, uh, if you play um, your first game, to start with the blue one and the red one. Apparently the green one has a little more difficulty to it, I guess. But uh, yeah, there's difficulty in here as well. I will explain that in a little uh, moment or in a, in a minute. Um, I wanted to show this some love for the third time because they are currently on uh, GameFound and they actually are printing an expansion to this but you can get the whole set with the original game as well. Uh, this is uh, the Horde uh, deck or these are the Horde cards. You see on the top right you got uh, different expansion symbols. The first seven cards there you always use and then you use one of the three others and that has a certain difficulty as well. So there are different ways, even if you play solo, to play against the deck and it's um, very versatile and very different every time. Yeah, here you see the, 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 the uh, yeah, I guess it's like a dino skull symbol, sim, symbol, symbol, uh, and uh, the, that horde deck um, you mix with the seven cards you saw in the beginning 
uh, or um, yeah, you mix one of the three horde decks with uh, with the seven cards, and um, every horde deck has kind of a certain theme, I guess. It's just one horde deck with three different setups. That makes more sense, I guess. So they got currently on game pound again, and the price is very nice. Like I said, I got this with the playmat, with the box, uh, with the sleeves, with plastic tokens. I think I even got an art book, uh, which is uh, in the bookshelf somewhere, um, that that shows off the the, the fun, uh, cool art in a different way. Uh, Four hundred bucks, and with the expansion, I think even if you're not like going uh, all out with with all the different stuff, it's I have to look it up. Maybe 150 bucks uh, max, and uh, you can get it a lot cheaper. You can already start at 50, 60 bucks. I think 60 bucks is the entry level. Um, yeah, these are the portal cards, and that's kind of the setting. Uh, you see that on the bottom here, you got one player, um, you got two player, and then you got phase one, two, and three, and then uh, the three. Um, um, the yes this is for two players phase one and then you got difficulties uh easy a little more difficult difficulty three and then um yeah you use the first yeah that's uh versus so you got three different kind of setups you can play one player you can play two player <laughs> have to take it easy i want to explain everything at once you can play versus like i said before and for every setups uh, so if you got the one player you saw you have an easy setup for one and two that's the stages so the game consists of three stages and then the third stage is the same all all the time then you got a little uh, difficulty two setup for stage one and two difficulty three setup for stage one and two and the same goes for two players and versus every um alliance deck has castles and it's kind of a castle defense game so uh, your castle is what the horde needs to attack and wants to attack and there are six different castles and you use one castle per game so it's a little different there as well every time and you have to defend that castle uh, then you got uh, outsiders uh, which are kind of the bosses and they come normally come at stage two and three of the game yeah it says one and two here but it's one stage one and two for them i guess uh, they arrive at stage uh, two once you beat uh, stage one of the setup and then at stage two of the setup an outsider joins which is kind of the end boss and the, the most difficult one the third one you saw here uh, actually has uh, is present at all three stages i guess um what else do we have here yeah we got some minions i put those there we got some tokens skeleton tokens here uh six I put those there and the four minion cards on the top left and on the top right. Um, and uh, that's about it. Yeah, the portal cards are uh, kind of fun. They give you mana. So the setup, uh, the portals uh, determine how the game is played. And everything that is written on the card kind of explains itself. But you saw the four here on the... Um, on the uh, first uh, stage portal card for the one player the easiest one and you have four mana and you can play minions with it you can play spells with it you can play um, yeah certain kind of uh, artifact thingies I think it's called like uh, weapons I, I don't think it's called equipment <laughs> I don't know if they're allowed to do that every player uh, tracks there yeah it's player one two and then uh, the third token I think is for the horde um, every player uh, tracks the mana and mana accumulates so you if you don't use all your mana uh, every turn you uh, can save it up until 10 and uh, then play something else with it you draw five cards in the beginning you can have a mulligan uh, yeah it's kind of kind of easy and if you are a trading card game player you you get a hang of it quickly but again what i liked about this is the easy setup and uh, you have uh, you can have a lot of fun with this box uh, yeah, here is 20 life. That would be the, the castle I, I defend. You can have a lot of fun with this box. Um, 
the what did I want to say about the portals again yeah portals have life as well so as a player I attack the portal and then I get to the next stage and at a certain point I need of course to defend the like the boss as well and as the um, horde you attack the castle and you got six rows here as you can see and um, yeah you can play cards like minions on every row and if a row is empty the minion attacks uh, the horde minions attack the castle and the um, alliance minions attack uh, the attack the uh, portal um, again uh, everything fits in the box which is pretty nice and what I like about it is that you always have a different setup uh, so you can make it more difficult if you if you finished it it came again it came with the sleeves so uh, you could I even got uh, like yeah, a pack of leftover sleeves came with Kickstarter exclusive cards here as well here a whole pack of sleeves that is left uh, that uh, pile in the uh, on the on the right here in the box is a pile of a Kickstarter expansion. I didn't even uh, show at this moment, but that's in here as well. The playmat fits in here, and for me it's perfect. If I take this along to Germany, and I easily can play this with my brother against the game, and it's a lot of fun to play co-op. I think I really like co-op games. Um, yeah, folks, if if it's not for you, it's not for you. I I get that, but I know a lot of you like me to 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 talk about what i play and what i like and i think this is one that might be very interesting especially for the price point of one booster box or even less you get a lot of stuff you get a game you can play right out of the box um it's good fun uh it's uh looking very appealing and you got everything you need just in one box you put it away and if you want to play it again you play it again i hope you enjoyed this video if you do uh, or if you did and if you still do <laughs> as you're still watching that late in the video leave me a like and leave me a comment please that would be awesome uh, let me know what you think about the game have you already seen the game are you considering backing it on game found now together with the expansion which is uh, interesting um yeah just curious what you think about these kind of uh, these kind of games especially if you consider that it is a big deal in the fab community flesh and blood community that they are about to introduce uh co-op but and uh, yeah that's very innovative and so on and so on i mean this game did it a while ago uh, and uh, even before that uh, world of warcraft already was a kind of co-op game uh, or had a had a co-op game you could uh, you could have like onyxia decks or whatever and even magic the gathering had uh, kind of co-op games maybe not against the game if you look at the uh, arch enemy uh, nico bolas box you play three players against one which is kind of co-op as well but yeah doesn't matter uh just as a side note very cool to play co-op and um they are uh doing that very well and in general i think uh yeah it's a good and fun game enough with the promotion for now <laughs> Hey, I'm uh, I'm totally independent. I'm just giving you my opinion. So uh, just kidding. But uh, if you like it, you like it. And if you don't, you don't. I, I do, definitely. Have a great week, folks, ahead of you. It's uh, Sunday today. Uh, so I hope uh, you are enjoying your Sunday and you are looking forward to, um, to a nice uh, and hopefully sunny week. And as always, stay healthy, stay frosty. Thanks a lot for listening and I talk to you next time. Bye folks.